Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Online CSK. In this video, I'm going to teach you some amazing tricks of mathematics. So let's start with the first one. Oh my God, how horrible question it is. By looking at it, it looks like it's very difficult to solve, isn't it? But my dear friends, I challenge you that this question can be solved within a second. This is infinite series and this can be solved within a second. And in most of the competitive exams, you'll find these kinds of questions, which looks like very tough, but it's a tricky one. My dear friends, if you go back to your school days and if you look at the same question, you can solve it and you can do it within a minute. But what's the shortcut in that? Nothing, right? So I'm going to tell you some shortcuts by which you can solve it within a second. Trust me. So let's start with the standard method by which we used to solve and after that I'll tell you the shortcut. My dear friends, if you look at this particular portion, this is exactly like x, right? Because this is infinite series, so I can say that this is x. In the standard method, I can change the equation to this. x is equal to root over 6 plus x because this is also x. Now I can write x square is equal to 6 plus x if I square both the sides. And if I take everything to the left hand side, I'm having a quadratic equation x square minus x plus 6. And we know how to solve quadratic equation, right? And if I solve this quadratic equation, I have the value of x is equal to minus 2 or 3. x cannot be equal to minus 2 because it's already positive. So I'm left with only 3. That's why x is equal to 3. My dear friends, now look at the same question in the shortcut way. First of all, there are some criteria. Look at 6. 6, if I factorize this, 6 can be written as 2 into right? If we have two factors which are consecutive and the, and the multiplication of both the number is equal to the same number, then only this shortcut will work. And trust me, my dear friends, in your exam, only this kind of standard questions are asked. For example, there would be 6, there would be 12, there would be 20, there would be, let's say, 72. Only these questions because 12 is 3 into 4, 20 is 4 into 5, 72 is 8 into 9, 6 is 2 into 3. So what I have to do is I just need to ignore the small number and I'll be left with the higher number 3 and that's what the answer is. If let's say instead of 6, if everywhere there would have been 12, in that case 12 can be written as 3 into 4. I would say simply ignore 3 and I'll be left with and 4 would have been the answer. Now take a look at this question. Instead of plus sign, now I have minus sign. Can we solve this within a second? And if you are unable, my dear friend, then in this case you must subscribe to our channel. The reason behind this is we frequently upload these kinds of shortcut tricks which is very much helpful in cracking the competitive exam or in the, your daily life as well. You can go to your teacher and ask this question. And let's see, and you can you can challenge your teacher, you can challenge your parent, you can challenge your family. And don't forget to press the notification bell as well. Because if you do so, you will be notified whenever we upload our next session. So my dear friends, now I'll tell you how to solve this in the shortcut way. Again, I'll factorize 6. 6 is equal to 2 into 3. Now in this case, I'll ignore the large number, which is 3. And I'm left with 2. Then what's the answer? 2, right? So x is equal to 2. This is what the correct answer is. Now see how easy it is, isn't it? Now take a look at this question. This is also the as same as the previous one. Only thing is here we don't have plus sign or minus sign. Here we have only multiplications, direct multiplications. And direct multiplication that to within a square. How you will solve this? My dear friend, this can be solved within within a second. 
or within zero second i can say not g- within zero second but by looking at it you will tell the answer and right now if you are unable trust me guys we post similar kind of questions on instagram page so don't forget to follow our instagram page or you can connect us on facebook or twitter as well let's check out the solution the answer is six only yes my dear friend whatever is there here we don't have any restriction that it needs to have two consecutive factors no restriction let's say the number is let's say x is equal to root or for example 11 root 11 root 11 and so on in this case x is equal to 11 only i hope my dear friends you understood this and if you if you want to check this out whether this is right or not you can check this in this way x is equal to 6 under root 6 and then rest of the portion you can write as x if i take the square of both sides i have x square is equal to 6x i can cancel x and x and i'm left with x is equal to 6 and this is what we figured out and this is what our shortcut method is right my dear friends i hope you understood all the three shortcuts now i have some practice questions for you i'll quickly give you three questions and i'll give you 15 seconds to solve Let's check this out whether you are able to solve this or not. Start. All right, my dear friends. Now the time is over. Take a look at the first question. First question, if you look at thirty, is there thirty can be written as five into six. and this is with negative so i'll ignore the higher number and i'll be left with 5 this is what the answer is in this case 2 is there right so 2 can be written as 1 into 2 but this is with the plus sign so i'll ignore 1 and i'll be left with 2 and this question by looking at it you can answer it the answer is 12 only at then my dear friends i would like to say you that don't forget to comment and tell me how many questions you solved it correctly and at the last i would like to tell you thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned with us and i wish you a very pleasant day ahead thank you again bye bye